let's have a scorecard. Let's mark the MPP mm -hmm. on a scale of one to ten. Where would you put the party? In terms of what you well, know, if you want to score, you must have your maybe criteria. Maybe we can start from the economy. On the economy, score the MPP. Well, I mean, it, it's it will not be prudent on my part to give a score between from zero to ten. Honestly, it, 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 it will not be appropriate. Maybe let's for move away from the economy. How about on the delivery of promises? But the, the, of course, we are experiencing difficult times in the economy. I agree. We are experiencing difficult times because of the level of indebtedness mm. that we have, both external and domestic. And government is taking the steps to see how the economy can improve by the microeconomic indicators in terms of interest rate, inflation, the exchange rate, how we can achieve stability mm. on all these microeconomic indicators so that the happiness of citizens can be fully restored. Yes, we are experiencing these challenges. Now government is dealing with the debt exchange program. We're talking about some haircuts here and there, you know. So all this approach is intended to restore the confidence back into the economy and to stabilize the economy with all these indicators. And it is possible that it will take a year or a, a little over a year to see some signs of recovery. Mm -hmm. Okay, to see some signs of recovery. And I also believe that once government also prudently looks at the expenditure, the expenditure side of the budget equation and then be able to cut down on some expenditures that may not be necessary for government, it will also help to cushion the liquidity of the country for our ability to service our debt and still have sufficient funds for our investment project. Mm -hmm.